We're just heading down to a small trail here just below the falls um, where they've recently built a, a pretty cool bridge and uh, it's actually made out of plastic like composite so uh, let's check this out So we're back in the woods this morning. Uh, first thing Monday morning, pretty bright and early. And uh, it's a nice day here this morning, kind of cool. Uh, I'm back in the woods cutting some logs for the sawmill. Uh, it's, uh, we're back in a place, actually uh, on a place called Belleville Road. And uh, I'm just looking at the hemlock here. I just want to talk about uh, the, uh, an infestation that's hit our hemlock in our region. It's called Hemlock Woolly Adelgid. And uh, this year it's really prevalent in uh, these, these areas and my hemlocks are, are dying pretty quick. So it, it's, uh, it's an invasive species and it's like a, it's like a small uh, white crust onto uh, the branches of the hemlock. <clears throat> and what it does, it eats the, uh, the green foliage of uh, the hemlock gets underneath the small uh, needles of the hemlock and it uh, kills the tree kills it all so you know uh, i read up about it and uh, looked it up it's been in this province of nova scotia for quite a while but now it's really spread uh, all through the province and uh, it's a species native to apparently in japan and then it made its way to the eastern side of the uh, the US around the 50s I guess and slowly spread on the East Coast and then uh, made its way up northeasterly up to us eventually <clears throat> and it was spotty in areas of Nova Scotia for a while they had it here and there and but now it's uh, it's everywhere and it's on we have a lot of hemlock uh, tons of hemlock and uh, it's infested them uh, this year really bad I notice when I go in the woods in the morning, I can tell the hemlocks are not as green as they used to be. They're like uh, gray. And uh, I'll show you uh, up close what it looks like. And uh, we were in Kejimakujik, that's our local national park, last week. And uh, there they're treating the trees. So they're putting, a, they're actually inject, injecting a pesticide in them. 
and uh, apparently they're good for about five years but it's very costly and it's uh, time consuming to do that I wouldn't have a chance to I wouldn't be able to do it to all my trees but anyway uh, they've done it there and I'll show you some video clips of that <clears throat> And uh, other places, they uh, pour pesticide around the root system. but uh, and, 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 you know, that treats the tree apparently for years. Uh, but that's not the best thing either because those pesticides go into water courses and maybe kill off some of the vegetation around there. Um, other, other areas apparently in the U.S. have introduced a beetle that eats this, this uh, woolly adelgid. Um, with some success. I don't know. We're not doing it here. I don't, I'm not, not exactly sure why. But anyway, I'll uh, show you uh, what it looks like and uh, what the trees look like. So here's a, <clears throat> just for an example, this is hemlock here. This is a block of hemlock. There's a couple of uh, branches left over. I cut this hemlock early spring. So it's been down on the ground. And if you look at these branches, these yellow branches, here's a good example of it. You see the snowy white stuff? That's hemlock woolly delgid right there. And it just decimated that branch, like there's nothing left. Here's some more over here. These are, this is a small hemlock. It's really bad here. There you can see it real well. This one's really bad. You can just see the woolly adelgid there. It's really nasty stuff. Here's another one over here. And if you look at the hemlock, <clears throat> here's a spruce tree. You can see how nice and green it is. It doesn't affect the spruces. And here's a hemlock over here. You can sort of tell it's grayish, not looking so good. So with all the hemlocks I've got on my land, uh, we're, you know, the, 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 they're, they'll eventually pretty much all die off. I'm hoping they'll last, like hemlock lasts a long time weather-wise out in the weather. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll last uh they they say four to seven years before it really rots out the bark will fall off of them and they'll fall down rot away and uh they won't even be salvageable so the plan is you know i can't i can't cut them all um i'll try to cut as many as i can next winter and i'll saw some up and try to make some lumber hemlock is good for a lot of stuff you can make beams and uh you know, uh, stud wood and framing for, for homes or anything, but planking. I'll try to cut as many as I can. I may sell some to the local sawmills that, uh, you know, use it and sell it. But, uh, you know, they'll eventually, they'll all die off. Some will be left and then they'll regrow. I guess it's nature's way of, uh, of cleaning out the forest. But it is a shame because uh, I really noticed this year. I hadn't seen some before this year, really. Uh, on our on our land and as I was driving in the woods this spring I could really tell the hemlock on the side of the road were really turning gray and uh, just a few weeks ago I was in the woods cutting down some trees and uh, I just saw it on the ground and it's that little white substance there on the on the trees and it's it's really taken off this year it's incredible how much a pest um, will uh, you know migrate to trees with the wind and the weather and uh, uh, we'll just migrate really quick.